You're here because of an AI content algorithm. Whether you like that or not, I'm profiting from AI existing just like you are. Tiny things are profoundly simple now, with very little in the way between you and a relaxing way to spend your time. Realistically, as long as we can serve our body's needs of security, hydration, nutrition, we can relax unabated with the technology we're currently afforded. One fantasy I've had is of singing a melody into a machine and seeing a fully formed composition come out. The idea in my head was of a group of composers, or maybe just one, hearing the melody and using their expertise to structure an entire piece around the melody that came from off the top of my head. I'd sing to myself, imagining the possibilities if some composer overheard what I was singing, the idea of it automatically culminating in a beautiful work. I can't exactly do that just yet with most consumer-grade AI I'm afforded, but I definitely could generate a convincing song with a text prompt. In theory, my hobby is now 10 times as efficient. I can make music without breaking a sweat now. All I need to do is just type a prompt in and press a button, and suddenly I have a fully formed composition. My work was required in order to make the music too, because if I never decided upon the prompt, the music wouldn't exist. I could hang up all my guitars and the rest of my instruments and just stick to a keyboard and a computer with an internet connection, then suddenly have a vast discography of published high-quality audio files. If I generate consistently using the same prompt, or similar prompts, then nobody would be able to pick up on the usual radical style departure that flags AI content creators. This tech is likely to get more and more efficient and convincing as time goes on. If I were to do that, I'd likely not be the only one to try that. With the only barrier to entry being willingness, a computer, and internet connection, there's bound to be so many people doing the same thing to the point where all of it becomes worthless. Imagine I'm a company trying to sell investors on the possibility of my brand having infinite growth potential. How would I do that? Basically everyone else is doing the same thing. The music industry has already reached market saturation when it comes to music distribution. Considering how many free ways there are to experience music, how everybody and their mother has an automated playlist, everybody with an internet connection already has the music you've published online. Now it becomes a matter of selling people on the idea of supporting the artist, something only tangible by means of purchasing their work. This abstract concept of artist support, this new commodity, it's hard to show off to others unless they see something that you own that could only have come from the artist. Thus we have merch sales, a t-shirt with the band's logo, a sticker, a poster, or anything else that might signal your status as a patron of the arts. You already have the music anyways, so why not buy something that you don't already have? The physicality of having an artist's t-shirt to wear. Their poster that you can see the shine hit at different angles. Their sticker that can be put anywhere you want isn't something you already have. The physicality of an experience seeing that artist playing your favorite song by them before your eyes isn't something you already have. You have to go out of your way, make sacrifices, in order to have a brief chance to have those things. Meanwhile, all of recorded music you already have, or you might as well have all of recorded music. Why try to sell something that you already have? Sure, maybe the official files have less compression and all, but what does that actually mean to the average person? You can hear the music. You can hear the music whenever you want, so you basically have the music. This huge mass of recorded music was already worthless to begin with. It can't be sold. It's already sold. In that sense, what's the difference if all this recorded music is suddenly generated by robots? That's right, it's artist support. You can't support an artist that isn't there. So, now you're aware of a commodity that you didn't even notice you had. A number ticks up with every play, and that helps push a song up in an algorithm. You probably don't think about that deliberately very often while you're listening to music. Why would consumers think about what they already own? It's completely meaningless whether or not I put an arbitrary price above an album you can stream for free. Whether or not I make it a thousand dollars even, it's worthless to begin with. 
invaluable. Even if I hid an extra file in for whoever pays the thousand dollar price tag, there's nothing stopping them from taking that file and giving it to everyone with an internet connection. It's instantaneously worthless beyond that point, because now everyone has it anyways. It's not like I have an expensive legal team, or even that I'd bother trying to check whether or not I could find that file online for free. So that is all entirely down to honor code. File sharing has become so advanced, so easy for the average person to partake in, that it's fundamentally impossible to expect any work of art to retain its worth unless we factor in honorable people. Art would have to be a religion, a world religion, in order to sustain infinite growth potential. Bear in mind, this is all talking about art and music through the lens of stock market terms and capitalism. When people talk about music as a career, they inevitably implicate these facts of present life. Maybe somehow there's a revolution somewhere on the horizon that changes things, but for now, if someone wants to make a living making music, they will have to impress investors. Currently, that means merch and live performances more than records. Personally, I don't know if I'm ever going to play a live show again. It might happen. I don't know. There's a lot of reasons why I don't, and I'm not the best at networking. I disappear for weeks at a time even with my closest friends, so I doubt I'd be able to make a good business relationship. Meanwhile, there's merch I've got on Redbubble and crowdfunding potential I've got on Patreon, but I already know everything I record and publish is automatically worthless in my day and age. Anyways, with that rant aside, I think that this advent of AI-generated music isn't a bad thing. I'm fairly sure the worst parts have already happened and that they weren't because of artificial intelligence. There might have been an alternate universe where file sharing was made impossible for anybody who wasn't a trained and licensed professional, but even in that case, we wouldn't have had all the awesome open source programs we often take for granted. Recorded music was already mostly worthless, and the same goes for 2D visual art. Everyone with an internet connection already has every Picasso that has ever been published on the internet. They don't have the physical experience of each Picasso, but they have the imagery freely available just the typed prompt and a pressed button away. What does that sound like? AI generation didn't change anything. It just made it impossible to ignore our present reality. Do you want to feel like shit? Tune in for next time. Bye!